male reproductive system, again, anterior side is gonna be the pubic symphysis, right? So first we're gonna start talking about the, the scrotum and the testes. Now the difference between the scrotum and the testes is that scrotum is skin including the testes. So this is the skin. If you peel away the skin, this muscle right here is the dartos muscle, right here. So this is the dartos muscle, this is the dartos muscle, right? Now the dartos muscle and this right here is the cremaster muscle. Now like we said in the video, the, the testicular sacs have to be kept at about three degrees cooler than the core body temperature which is why they're outside of the body and not inside of the body, like the female um, gonads. So basically what happens is that when the body temperature is too warm, will the testes descend or will they come closer to the body when it's too warm? Descend. Descend. So when it is too warm, the cremaster muscle relaxes, the dartos muscle relaxes, and the scrotal sac becomes less wrinkly and descends. When it's cold, the cremaster muscle contracts, pulls the testes closer to the core body. The cream uh, or the dartos muscle contracts, causing the uh, testicular testicular sac to wrinkle up, so it's conserving heat. Okay. Are we good so far? Okay. Now this whole structure here is called a spermatic cord. Spermatic cord. And it consists of one, the cremaster muscle, right? Two, it is this blue and red structure. It's called the pempiniform plexus. And we saw in the video how heat goes from the arterial blood to the venous blood. Mm -hmm. Keeps the testes cooler by about three degrees C. And then this little cord right here you can see it coming from under the testicular sac, it comes up. This is the vas deferens. Vas deferens and ductus deferens are the same thing. So this is the testicular sac or the scrotal sac, means the same thing. The scrotal sac, you first have the dartos muscle, right? You have the cremaster muscle right here. You have this red and blue, which is the pempiniform plexus. And this is the what? vas deferens. Now, this is the testicle itself, right here. The testicle itself. And the testicle has two layers over it. The outer one is called the tunica albuginea. Here you can see that in the brown, right? Tunica albuginea. And the inner one here, that is continuous with the testicular sac, the inner one is called tunica vaginalis. So there's two protective layers over the testes. The outer tunica albuginea. Yeah, it's on the, uh, oh wait, she has the word bank. Does everybody else have the word bank too to cross it out? So outer is tunica albuginea, inner one is tunica vaginalis. Okay. Now this is the testes itself. And this whole structure is called the epididymis. Epididymis. So now let me show you on this one. Now if we cut the testes sagittally. You will notice certain wedge-shaped structures. Those are lobules. Yeah, that's not sagittally cut. You'll notice certain wedge-shaped lobby. Yeah, this one doesn't show many details too. Okay. And I'll open up the cadaver images too. So these are the lobules, right? So from the lobules, you're gonna have little squished little tubules called seminiferous tubules. And those seminiferous tubules open up into an area right here called Reed's testes. R-E-T-E, okay. Reet, Reet's testes. So what you're seeing here is scrotal sac, dartos, cremaster, pampiniform plexus, and vas deferens. 
testes epididymis. Now this is the head of the epididymis. This is the middle and this is the tail. And the tail originates uh, and the vas deferens originates here from the tail. See this? Yep. Originates. So on this side of the Yep. Back. Yep. And then it exits. So the spermatic cord, the vas deferens is the only structure that exits through the pelvic cavity. And this is it that you're seeing right here. Right here. See this? Here it's cut. And this is the vas deferens exiting out this cream tube. That is it. Okay. It looks like you can open up the little section. The bladder? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to or it will fall apart. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now here, this is the bladder. This is the, which surface is this? Anterior or posterior? Posterior. Posterior, because this is the pubic, pubic symphysis, symphysis, right? Now on the posterior surface, this is the bladder. What is this nodular gland, male gland under the bladder? Prostate. Prostate gland. Now the sperm are being produced here in the seminiferous tubules. From the seminiferous tubules, they go to the reeds testes, then they go to the vas deferens, or they, they, they're stored in the uh, epididymis. The older sperm are towards the head, or sorry, the older sperm are towards the tail, the younger sperm are towards the head. And after, it, during ejaculation, the sperm go down to the tail, then they get into the vas deferens, they exit the pelvic cavity, and come right here. So this right here is still the vas deferens. Okay. Now these glands right here are called seminal vesicles. Mm -hmm. And so seminal vesicles, there are three glands that are producing the seminal fluid, right? Because sperm and seminal fluid are not the same thing. Semen has sperm in it, but they're not interchangeable terms. Okay. So the first gland that produces semen are these two glands right here, seminal vesicles. Now here, this little duct right here is called the ejaculatory duct. Right here, number 40, is that 48? It looks like 48, yeah. Yeah, it looks like 48 to me. Number 48, that is the ejaculatory duct. So vas deferens, seminal vesicle, ejaculatory duct. Okay. From the ejaculatory duct, stuff is getting onto the inside the prostatic urethra. So right here. So from the ejaculatory duct and the seminal vesicle, now stuff is entering the, the prostatic urethra right here. So it comes from the superior down. Yes. Okay. So this is the prostatic urethra. Okay. From the prostatic urethra, it goes into the membranous urethra. Mm -hmm. From the membranous urethra, it will go where? Right here. Spongy, spongy or the penile the urethra. Okay. So, so far what we've got, hmm? Is everyone over here understanding that, this part? And plus the video is really good too, so we can. So bladder, what is this? Prostate, Prostate. Prostate. what is this? Seminal, seminal vesicle, this little junction. Ejaculatory vesicle. Ejaculatory duct. 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 Ejaculatory duct. duct. Then the ejaculatory duct is opening up where? Into the Prostate. prostatic urethra. From the prostatic urethra, it goes into the membranous urethra. From the membranous urethra, it's going into the spongy urethra. So let's. So look at this right here. This is a different view. This is the bladder, right? Mm -hmm. What is this right here? Vas vas no, vas vas deferens. This here is the prostate. Prostate. Oh, okay. This here is the what? Prostatic no, look again. This is the prostatic urethra. Oh. This is the ejaculatory oh, duct. Oh, so it's that last section. It's that last prostate. section before, before it pitches itself to the. The oh, okay. This is the prostatic urethra. From here down, from here to here would be the what? Membranous, Membranous urethra. urethra. And here down would be the? Spongy urethra. From here down is the spongy urethra. Oh, there you go. Okay. 
<laughs> now here, there's another gland. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bob <Bobitizing>. is <laughs> Just oh. hold it. Now here, there's another gland at the, not, not this, this is the rectum. So this is the prostatic urethra. This is the ejaculatory, so ejaculatory duct, prostatic urethra, membranous urethra. Where is that middle? Okay, this gland right here. So here you're seeing it in yellow, right? This is a spongy urethra. Okay. This gland right here, it's at the base of the penis. That is the bulbo-urethral gland, also known as the cowper's gland. Okay. In your uh, word bank, I think the word used is cowper's or bulbo-urethral. Bulbo -urethral. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the bulbo-urethral gland. So, what are the three glands that make the seminal fluid? This one. Uh, Pros prostate, 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 seminal vesicle, and bulbo-urethral gland. Okay. Now. Uh, where am I? Where's the rest of this? Well, that's for this. In the penis as well, this is considered the glans, mm -hmm. this is considered the shaft, mm -hmm. and then up here would be the crusses. Right and one left, on each side. Right and so left. it's clear when I open this up, this part here, this tissue here, is called corpus cavernosum. Mm -hmm. And this is the erectile tissue of the penis. This one right here, corpus cavernosum. Now the one lining the spongy urethra is corpus spongiosum. Okay. So this is corpus spongiosum here. This is corpus cavernosum. Now in this model, this is corpus cavernosum. My goodness. This is corpus spongiosum. Say that again, please. This is corpus cavernosum. This is corpus spongiosum.